Hey there! Today, we're going to learn how to allow customers to upload an image or logo and display it on a product. Let's start by adding a logo question. I'll click on the plus button and under Input Type, I'll select File Upload. Under Display Type, I'll pick Logo. And let's hit Create. My logo question is now visible in the left panel and in the Customizer Choice panel. The logo also appears on the Product Preview. I can move it around, resize, and rotate it. The blue rectangle represents the maximum area where the uploaded logo can appear. If I click anywhere else, the logo disappears. If I want to edit it again, I can click on the Edit icon in this toolbar. I'll upload an image, and it appears on the product. That's great if you want to display the logo in a predefined position, but what if you want the customers to position it themselves? To accomplish that, we will need to apply our logo on a print area. Within the logo question under display type, next to apply on, I'll click on print area. Print areas allow you to automatically generate printable PDF files from your customer's designs. That's why we need to specify the print area's size in real life. Let's say it's 11 by 11 inches, and I'll click on it to resize and place it where it belongs. My logo can now be repositioned within the print area, and since I want the user to be allowed to move, resize, and rotate it, we'll toggle on these settings here. As you can see, I can now move the logo around, and when it goes out of the print area, it disappears. Perfect! But what about this low qualify print file warning here? This notice will appear if Kickflip detects that the uploaded logo's resolution is lower than your print areas. If I upload a vectorial file type, like an AI file for example, the warning disappears because there are no pixels in a vector file. Print areas can contain multiple images and even texts. I'll now hit the preview button and we'll take a look at what happens when an order is placed. Let's upload a logo and move it where we want it, just like that. I'll now click on Add to Cart and let's go see the designs in Kickflip's dashboard. This is the t-shirt I just added to the cart. Let's open it and click on Download Assets. Kickflip generates a zip file for me. It contains the original image file I've uploaded, a preview image of my design, and last but not least, the printable PDF file. Pretty cool, right? Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new today, and we'll see you in the next video. We're on the live chat if you have any questions.